everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Lindsay and I love all things reading because reading is what? It's fundamental. Uh, welcome back. Today is going to be a stat filled video. So kick back, relax, get a beverage. It's going to be a great time. Uh, before that happens though, make sure to hit the subscribe button. It does super help my channel and I super duper appreciate it when you do that as well well as hit the uh, little thumbs up button if you've watched the video all the way through. Again, super appreciate it. I'm hoping to get to 250 subscribers by the end of the year. Slowly but surely, it's the little train that could. We're all about it. Okay, so we are in the month of June. It is wrapping up. We are going into the second half of 2022. Cannot believe it's halfway through the year already. And I kind of wanted to see what my reading stats were. So I've had a little bit of a slump between the months of March and May. I just wasn't in a reading mood and I think I only read about three books total within that two month period or three month period. I am back on the road to reading recovery. So that is all good. I'm actually on my fourth book right now, which I'm very happy about for the month of June. So I'm going to go through the books that I'm kind of reading through right now or have read in the month of June. And then those numbers are also included on my kind of six month reading stats that I'm going to bring you here as well. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so I do have a vlog on the first two books that I did read in the month of June, so I'm not really going to talk a whole lot about them. I will have that video linked uh, down below in the description, but the first book that I finished in June was a book called Talk Bookish to Me. It's by Kate Bromley. I gave this four stars. If you're kind of in the mood for a good summary beach read. It's a really great book. Uh, very similar kind of to like an Emily Henry style book because it's a book about books. So um, that's a little bit of a storyline in there. But again, it is a romance novel. So really good book there. And then the second book that I read for the month of June was called The Maid by Nita Prose. Uh, it was a suggestion from Donna and Rochelle over at the Daunties. I will have all of their information linked down below as well. They they actually just um, published a bookshelf kind of tour today on their channel so I'll go ahead and leave that video linked um, with their little handle but uh, it was a really good book it kind of again I don't want to go into too much detail because I do go through it in the vlog but it follows a maid and there is a murder in a hotel room that she had been cleaning so it kind of follows her point of view along with the story about how they're going to be trying to catch the killer. So she is definitely a little bit of an eclectic old soul. She's super fun to follow. So good read. I rated that one 3.75 stars. The last book that I've been able to finish was called Electric Idol. It is the second book in a series uh, by Katie Robert. Now I will say that it is a romance book, but if you are against language, if you're against smut, then you definitely do not want to read this book or this series. Um, the first book was Neon Gods. It was a retelling from Hades and Persephone. And the second book is all about Psyche and Eros. So I really enjoyed it. I gave this book four stars, which is a little bit better than I gave Neon Gods at 3.5. I am gonna continue with the series. I actually just bought uh, Wicked Queen, I believe is the third one. So I just purchased that one last week. But this one, Again, it was smutty, not as smutty as the first one because wow, wow, wow. Um, but this one had more of kind of like a love story towards it. And there was a really big battle, like, you know, kind of enemies to lovers feel in it. And I really enjoyed it. I didn't know anything about Greek mythology, really, other than reading Lore by Alexander Bracken last year. Uh, I hadn't really done any background with Greek mythology. You do not need to know anything about it to go into the series. If you do like romance novels, if you do kind of like the smuttier stuff to read. Um, and then also with this book in particular, there is kind of a family tree map kind of thing in the front, which is very cool. So highly recommend if you do like a little bit of a spicier read. 
And then the book that I'm on right now, I haven't actually started it. I'm starting it today, but I'm still counting it. Uh, it's going to be The Chain by Adrian McKinty. Uh, this one, I actually got the book from my friend Kyla, and it was also a recommendation from uh, Donna and Rochelle over at the Dauntys. So this book, again, if I haven't mentioned, I believe I may have mentioned it in a previous video, but if not, um, this book is all about a child that has been kidnapped and then the mother of that child gets a letter, I believe, and she's told that her child is not harmed, but the only way that she can get that child back is if she kidnaps another one. So, and it's just like, you're now part of the chain. So it's kind of following that. I'm very excited to get into it. Because it's the summer, I'm probably gonna be reading more romance fluffier novels for the next couple of months so i definitely want to get through this one along with a couple of other thrillers for the rest of the month but after that it's going to be a lot of light and fluffy reads for the months of july and august okay so let's get into the super fun stats so this year so far i have read 21 books in total there are three ya and 18 that are adult um, and I've read 7,608 pages in total. So last year, I believe, now I'm not going to hit anywhere near last year, which is completely okay. I kind of buried myself in books, which is what I needed at that time. But I do enjoy kind of getting out and spending some time with my friends and all that good stuff. Uh, so I'm taking a little bit easier on myself this year. But I read, I believe, 30 to 34,000 pages last year. So I'm kind of on pace to hit like a fifth of that or like maybe half of that potentially. So I'll be fine with that. Again, I read 96 books last year. I want to hit 52 this year. So I have a little bit of work towards me, but I think especially in the fall, I love those cozy kind of mysteries and I'm definitely looking forward to that kind of that time of the year. For genres of books, it is predominantly two areas. So I've read 11 thrillers and eight romance books so far this year. I also had uh, one cozy mystery and one historical fiction. Star ratings are quite all over the place at this point. Um, I've had one five star read, which I will mention in a little bit. I've had two 4.75 star reads, two 4.25 star reads, five four star reads. So it has been a good overall reading year so far. I've had one 3.75 star read, five 3.5 star reads. I've had two three star reads, and I've had two 2.75 star reads. So there have been some misses, but I think overall I've had a lot more hits for the year. My bottom three books so far, which is a bit disappointing. The first one is One by One by Ruth Ware. This one I absolutely hated. Um, I can appreciate Ruth Ware and where she was coming with this book, but I found it extremely boring. I hated the characters and there was no real twists to keep me kind of interested so didn't enjoy that one the second book that is on kind of the lower disappointing scale is the paris library uh this one is a historical fiction i think the re like the writing was good i'm just not as interested in historical fiction as i once was so i didn't enjoy it as much as i thought i would however again it is really well written so if you do enjoy historical fiction then i think that you would enjoy it and then the third one is a book in the Alex Cross series that I'm kind of making my way through. It was Violets Are Blue. One of the books is also technically in my top three, but I'm not going to put it in there because a couple of other books are more memorable to me. But this one specifically was terrible and almost wanted to make me just stop with the series. But I am going to continue with it. I do like the character development with Alex and his family but that one in particular if you are reading that series it does get better I can promise you that 
my top three books this year so far number one should not come as a surprise I have mentioned it quite a number of times but it was Verity by Colleen Hoover it was the second Colleen Hoover book that I have read and I absolutely enjoyed it this one is uh, very polarizing you either love it or you hate it I'm happy that I was able to love it so uh, there is a there are a ton of different videos on booktube that go over it I actually did a love it or hate it video because it was such a divisive kind of book so I will leave that linked down below as well if you want to check it out but super duper love that one the next one is uh, Just Haven't Met You Yet by Sophie Cousins. I absolutely love this author. She is a new favorite author of mine with Taylor Jenkins Reid and Emily Henry. It was just a really feel good book and it was a romance novel that I read in January and it was just it was just really good. It was light, airy, fun. Uh, it was a woman who worked for a travel magazine and she was kind of going back to find out where her parents fell in love and at the airport she ended up picking the wrong suitcase up and uh, she just kind of thought after seeing what was in there that she had met her perfect mate. So she kind of goes on this quest to find this person and there's a couple of twists on, on the journey and everything obviously works out peachy keen but it was a really fun read. And the final book in my top three so far is A Flicker in the Dark. I absolutely love this book because it is a thriller. I really don't want to go into any specifics about it because it's just something that you shouldn't maybe have a little bit of a background on. But what I will say was that there were murders in a town probably like 20 years ago. Somebody did go to jail. And then now somebody that was connected to those murders have moved back to town and murders have started again. So it is just a really fun psychological thriller. I thought that I had solved it like three times and they just kept putting the twists in. It was so well done. It was a book of the month pick. If you are part of the book of the month program and that book is still available, highly suggest to get it. So, so good. I gave that one 4.75 stars. So I've read 21 books so far. My goal is 52. So I've got 31 books, hopefully that I'm going to be able to get to. Do I have that available on my bookshelves? And the answer is a resounding yes. So on my physical TBR as of right now on my bookshelves, uh, kind of right in front of me, I have 84 books that are purchased, but I just have not read as of yet. So I should have no problem getting through those. I probably will purchase a few holiday books kind of around that November time. My local bookstore always has a really great sale in November. So I'm going to be waiting until then. The only other books that I have as of right now that I want to purchase is the new Riley Sager book, uh, which is House Across the Lake. And I believe Taylor Jenkins Reid might be coming out with the book as well. So those are the only ones that I have my eye on as of right now. So could be 86 but I'm gonna count 84 that are on my actual shelves right now. So what are the books that I have on there? So I have 22 romance books. A lot of those will be read kind of within July and August, like I mentioned before. So I'm very excited about having a super duper fun reading summer. I have three contemporary fiction, and then I also have two autobiographies. And then I have 57 thrillers that are on my shelves as well. So July, August are going to be all about good vibes. And then we're going to get to September and October. And I'm just going to learn so much about murder that if anybody was to look through my Goodreads or if they were look to look on my booktube or Google search history, uh, they're probably going to think that I'm planning something. So really excited about those. There is a good mix between YA thrillers and adult thrillers as well. So 
I'm going to be starting some series coming up. I'm very excited about those. A couple uh, Rochelle and Donna have also talked about already and I'm really excited about getting to those ones. There was one other question that I wanted to uh, answer and it was who do you have as an author the most on your TBR list as of right now? I have three Jeffrey Deaver books. Uh, I did mention that in a previous video but I did get those from my mom. Um, they were my stepdad's books so I was able to grab a few of those. So I have that. I also have three Colleen Hoover books that I have purchased and I definitely want to get to. So she is going to be a very big part of my romance summer and I'm probably going to be doing a dedicated video for her specifically uh, just to kind of compare to the other books that I've read from her. So watch out for that. And then the only other author I believe that I have multiple books from, actually there's two, um, James Patterson is one. So I do have a few more Alex Cross books, but I also have kind of singular books from him as well, just standalones. I have The President is Missing and The President's Daughter, which both I believe Nina over at Wrestling With Books and Wrestling With Disney has uh, also said that she really liked. I have those ones and then I want to get the one that he wrote with Dolly Parton as well. So that's a potential other purchase if I can find it for cheaper. I have two books from Grady Hendrix. I have the Southern Book Club's Guide to Slaying Vampires and I also have uh, the Final Gr Girls Support Group as well. I want to pick up Horror Store but my local bookstore doesn't have a huge horror section. So definitely on the lookout for that one. I might have to just order that one in. Um, but that probably won't be until next year since I already have a couple this year. And then I also have a couple of books from Casey McQuiston. Uh, I have One Last Stop, which is a sapphic novel. And I have another sapphic novel from her as well. I'm just looking for it. Um, it's her newest release. If I can find it, I'm going to put a picture of it right here. It's I Kissed Sherry or Shara something. Anyways, I'm going to put a picture here. So I have two books from her. And I think that's it other than my Harry Potter books. Rochelle, Donna, I promise I'm getting to those ones. I think I'm going to start reading those in October or September. So it's going to be like one horror thriller book, one Harry Potter potentially, or I'm just going to binge the whole series and I'll do a video on the whole thing. I have books one and two thankfully because of the book swap that we did last year and if I like them then I'm gonna get the rest of the series in the same edition that I have these books. So super excited but other than that I think that's kind of all of the stats and everything that I have as of right now. Let me know how you guys are doing for your reading but that will do it for me today guys. Again uh, let me know how you guys are reading down in the comments. I like to kind of see any recommendations and see how you guys are doing. But uh, yeah, I hope you have a great rest of your week and I will see you in my next video. Toodaloo!